UV systems generally use filters and ultraviolet light. UV light kills or inactivates organisms by disrupting their DNA, leaving them unable to perform vital cellular functions. The efficiency of systems using UV light depends on total suspended solids, TSS, and the opacity of the water, in other words, how cloudy it is. High levels of TSS or color will cause a decrease in the UV transmittance level. Consequently, the UV intensity will have to be increased, resulting in an increase in power consumption and a considerable decrease in lamp life. If the water cannot transmit the UV light, then the UV cannot disinfect efficiently, because the organisms may be shielded from the UV light. A filter is advantageous in waters with high levels of particulate and organic matter, as a large proportion of organisms will be filtered out before processing. Filters which automatically backflush when a certain pressure drop is exceeded may reduce the flow rate and increase the energy consumption in water with high sediment content. UV systems do not form any harmful byproducts, and the process itself is largely independent of the temperature and salinity, although UV transmittance is not. The process may have relatively high energy demand in such cases.